Sup and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with Xanthar Vine Collector of Skyrim, part 86. Uh, but before we get into Xanthar and all of his crazy antics, some H2O. Drink it up or die, gamers. Sorry, gamers, that's just how good H2O is. You take a sip of it and you go, mmm, just one more, just one more. Keeping you hydrated, though. All right, let's get into this. We got to regain the reach, and I'm paused for a reason. Um, had a upgrade, and uh, graphics are a little bit better. I believe everything's at max. I, of course, have lens flare and some things like that turned off that I find annoying. But let's get into this. Uh... Yeah, we're in combat for some reason. Who knows why? <laughs> I assume because I have a bounty, even the Imperials do not want, uh, or, you know, will hunt me down for my bounty, so. Oh god, my, my, my DP, DPI is way too high for this. Oh, come on, boys. Can, can we just let bygones be bygones? There's a good DPI. Sure. One more. Let's go. Oh, you gotta move. There we go. Kill shot. Very sorry, Imperial soldier brethren. But you left me no choice. But, look on the bright side. I'm not gonna let your captive get away scot-free. No, why would I do that? He's a Stormcloak, uh, you know, sympathizer. Don't you dare run away from me. You, you, you two hanging moss, thank you very much. Okay. I can't believe this guy thinks he's gonna run away from me. One good reason about, you know, Skyrim, you traveling quicker than the NPCs, is they usually can't run away from you very well. What, that one arrow pierced his bonds? Doubt it. Okay. So we gotta reunify Skyrim. And we're gonna head over here and find out what they want us to do. Uh, that's inaccurate, because I need to give it to her in town. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no. We're gonna head straight west, though. Yeah, I do not... This is one of the places I do not remember how to get to, so... We'll figure it out together. Don't worry. Sure, sure, sure. It can't be too complicated. Worst case scenario, you know, you know, parkour up a hill or two. What? <gasps> Mike, my boy. Mike, come here, come here, Mike. Nord's armor has lots of fur. This sometimes makes Mike nervous. Okay, heard that before. Some say Alduin is a Katorsh. Some say Mike is a liar. Don't you believe either of those things? Gotcha. Mike was soul trapped once. Not very pleasant. You should think about that once in a while. Mike is okay, Mike. We'll leave else? you alone. So I gotta head more northward. It seems. Map-wise, where are we at? Yeah, map-wise, I think I can... Where this waterfall comes down, maybe get up there. Man, the birds of the Reach really just, you know, drop their eggs anywhere. Or make their nests anywhere, I guess. And then they drop their... Blind Cliff Cave. Okay. I'm gonna check that out. Does not look in super inviting, but... We might need to if it's the only way forward. Um, I got this maybe. <laughs> I got this maybe. Just maybe. Does the other side look more promising? The other side looks lower. Let's check out the other side before we try and parkour up this side. Well, I said it looked more promising. I didn't say it was. 
Oh, totally. We got a freaking road and everything. This ain't stealing. Oh, nope, nope. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to Markarth, though. But I think if I go this way, I can take the path up to the Lover's Stone and yada, yada, yada. You know. You know how it goes. Yes, 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 yes. This will work just fine. What? Nakas! Okay. I totally did just see him spawn, or at least pop up there. Okay, let's get that. What do we need? Dragon rend as well, and our bow. So, bow of fire. Dragon rend. Okay. Of course, I just shouted, so I won't have my shout for a while. And what is that? A cave bear up there or something? Ah! Still ain't got it. Okay. Not the goat. Oh, hey, bear. Your soul's gettable, so I'll get your soul. Right when I had my chance, and no, I couldn't. Okay. Come at me. Come at me. Oh, really? Okay. I think my range, yeah. Dragon Rend is usually, like, infinite range. Not infinite, but as long as you can see them, you can usually get them to trigger. Of course they go over there. Why would, why would they? Why would they? Well, Daedric Shrine up here might be discovering on accident. That's a wide swing and a miss. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Hmm. Headshot, I guess. He lands on his own. Yep. Landed or crash landed on his own volition. Oh, now you're running away. Okay. Nice and dead. And juniper trees, you know, can survive any collision with any dragon. It's lore. It's canon. Come at me, Bethesda. It's canon. You have it in your game. It's canon. <laughs> can I get your soul, too? Oh, God, this is going to be heavy. Nope, nope. Okay. Soul. Mine. Now. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Where are we map-wise? Oh, north. Just straight north, pretty much. Oh, you even got the map marker and everything. Yeah, let's go back to Whirlwind Sprint before I drag and rend for no freaking reason. What? Not cast! Stormcloaks tearing everything apart and not do something. Uh, Where? Okay, this bear, how did y'all not see it coming? It's right next to your camp. It's literally the closest tent to it is your commander's tent. I mean, come on. Beginning to think that maybe they couldn't win this war without my help. Hey! The general and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. Reporting for duty, then. Your objective is Fort Sunguard. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? You know it. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Okay, cool. Better than no sneaking about. 
Fortston grid. Where? Um. Okay, that's far away. All right, I guess we will take a diversion then. Um. You know what? No, we'll do that. Then we'll do our diversions, cause then we can go one, two, three. Take care of all those. All right. String grid. Here we go. What is it? Pretty much straight east. What is I? Oh. Yeah, I could heal you. You're right. I could. But you're in camp. You're fine. You'll you'll get the heals you need. I'm sure. Ooh, silver. Mining brought to you by hydration. Yeah, game doesn't look, you know, impressively better. I think I had most everything pretty much set all the way. I mean, the lighting is a bit better and the shadows are a bit better, but yeah, for the most part, I kind of had it set pretty high to begin with. Graphical settings do not affect game bugs. Just, just be aware of that. Let's find this Daedra Shrine since we're right here. What? Oh, can I not get to it? No, I can get to it. More ore. This one's silver, right? Yeah, silver. What oh, was that, a bear? I swore I heard a bear. Bear or saber cat somewhere. Hey, I heard you before. Nope. Yes. I think this is cash at least. Yes. Yeah, trying to parate. Pirate? Buying game. Well, I'm not going to steal it then since I read it before. Okay. Are you cash? Yeah. Ah, a wanderer, yes. No, pilgrim, perhaps. You have come to commune with Periite, Taskmaster, and Blighted Lord, yes? Periite. I stand corrected. Yeah! Not everyone has the stomach required to entreat, my lord. But Cash likes you, friend. There is a way Periyat may speak to us who will take him in. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Yeah, tell me about this incense. Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower, one silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire dust. Then I will show you how. I might. I doubt it. I doubt it. No, I have none of that currently. Okay. Can I? Okay, I can still harvest this stuff. It's not stealing. Yes. And a lot of his uh, worshippers are, uh, you know, afflicted in certain ways. Do they never say whether or not Kesh is... I mean, he's called Kesh the Clean, so you assume he is, but... To me, the only thing I can see the afflicted being afflicted by is, like, you know, marks on their skin. Which, if you're a Khajiit, eh, you might be able to cover that up with your fur. So, who knows. But, we'll assume Kesh is clean, since it's his name, and we'll find that stuff and take care of it. But for now, we gotta go fight a fort. Whole fort full of men. Quick save, though, because I'm gonna parkour this mountain ridge. Yeah, I don't want to take on that dragon yet. Not what I could possibly get paid for it. <clears throat> it's only like 500 gold or something for dragons, but still. Oh, well, that's an egg down there. Yeah. Ooh. This fall damage for me. 
rock wall. Oh, warbler. Warbler, warbler. Okay. Now that's, yeah, that's disappointing. All right. Oh, come on. Come on, this mountain is so jank. Oh my god. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Ah! Let's go down to the river. And yeah, not take too much damage. What? Not cast! I hate water. Have I said that before? I really hate water when it comes to, you know, traversing a Skyrim. Water just stops you. Whirlwind Sprint? Nah, water will defeat that. Ooh, chest. Okay. Was it gears? Oh, God. What, what am I supposed to be? No, sorry. Cogs. Yes, gears only weigh two pounds. Cogs weigh ten pounds, which is why that quest is so annoying. There's another quest, I believe, where you have to collect gears, and that's a little bit, you know, not not as hard, because it's gears. It's, you know, 20 pounds of inventory space, I believe, total. Nah, give me some cogs. Some 10... What is it? If, if he needs 20... Oh, God, how many does he need? So, 10. He just needs 100 pounds of cogs. That's all he needs. Why are y'all... Okay, well, it's stealing thing. Y'all horses just chilling here? What are you doing? Okay, just some horses chilling. It's not like a bandit camp or anything here. Interesting, just some horses and a place to tie them up. All right. I guess maybe it might have something to do with this cave up here, but I'm not gonna find out. Is it this fort? No. Oh God, I need to be going south pretty much then, okay. It's the one bad thing about the reach. The, the way the way it's built, I always feel like I'm headed, like I'm trying to leave the reach, even though most of the time you're, you know, not. But no, every time I travel the reach, I always feel like I'm about to leave the reach. Hey, goat. So, I basically need to go south, yeah. Deja vu, very familiar area. What? Oh, hey, y'all. You know what? I got some traveling to do anyway. Why not? Get a couple snacks on the way. Golly. Oh, you just, you just assume I'm with the Empire because I'm a beast? You don't assume that Stormcloaks can also be bloodthirsty werewolves? He had full health, and he just one hit killed him. Last witness killed. Nice, 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 nice. Anyone else? Shucks. Okay. Well, that looks like a path up a mountain. I'm gonna definitely take that. And wolves will not attack you. Although, you can still feed on them. So, if you have that perk, very, very easy experience uh, us using uh, that exploit. Because wolves will attack you, so you can just kill them and take their hearts. <gasps> can I? Yes! Also, if you find dead bodies you've killed earlier, or most dead bodies really just lying about, you can feed on them. So if you ever kill, like, you know, a whole fort full of people and you're like, man, I should have been a, you know, werewolf to consume their hearts. Well, you can. You just have to switch over real quick. All right, south still. <gasps> Ooh, more hearts, more hearts. You got a heart? Yeah, you do. 
there's one more out here, too. I thought there was. Oh, up here. Here we go. Oh, come on. And just, you know, a day or two old, you know, human hearts, you know. They're, they're probably kept preserved, you know, under all of the, you know, rib cage and everything. Oh, let's go for a big old snack in here if everyone's repopulated. Firstly, though, I gotta take out this hag, Raven. Oh, nice. I like that. Can I feed on the giant, too? That would be just perfect. I can! Come on, giant heart. You gotta be delicious. Okay, and now I'm stuck. Okay. Never should have come here. Got a new perk. Yes. Oh. No, I want your hearts, y'all. Just, 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 just let me munch on them. Just a little munching and, you know, consuming of them. I'll give them back. I will pass them eventually. Can't hide from me. <clears throat> well. Oh, I do not like that spell casting. Man, who's, who's hurling spells at me? Come on, there we go. Just ducked out of the way to, get, to munch on a human. Nice. That that groin shot of a werewolf, you know. Thank you, Bethesda. If we didn't have that, I don't know. I don't know if this game would have gotten so many accolades when it, you know, came out and everything. All right, full health now to find out who the hell is hitting me with frost bolts. Is it you? It's not you. You have axes. It's you. Let's go then. Munch, munch, munch. And I think I have at least one perk from all of this. I think there's one more individual as well. One more. Yeah. Are you up here? Oh, you're a mage, too. Good thing I didn't come up here. Delicious. Okay. We have that. I think we have everything over here. Yes, we do. Alright. Creatures, Totem of the Hunt... Yeah, let's go with that, since we really need it. Well, I don't see any more Forsworn, and this place looks like it's repopulated, so... I should probably loot it while I'm here. Alright, can I crouch? No, I cannot. Okay. 12 hours has to do it, right? H2O, gamers. You gotta drink it after you, you know, savagely murder multiple, you know, Forsworn in your beast form. What we got? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't know if I remember those being like that last time. I don't even know if I looted those last time. Okay. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, no. That's all you got for me, hag? Some feathers? Okay, there was void salts and a toe around here. 
Well, there's the toe. I guess it's, you know, size comparable. We got elven arrows and 78 gold. Man, these Force One actually have some halfway decent equipment for once. Well, I say that the next one's got nothing on them. Not nothing, you know. Had some gold, but that was it. Giants too. That's all you got. Yes, thank you. That's oh, just a dwarven sword. All right. What do you got? Vincent. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Oh, come on. He's over there. Oh, you just have arrows? Fine. Although their arrows are pretty... They, they just pretty much... To me, they look just like uh, iron arrows, pretty much. They look like worse iron arrows, and I think that's stat-wise what they are, even. Oh, nope. Nope. It's like three of them over here, I think. Yeah, one, two, and then around. Ooh. Weak poison. You tried, but you did not poison me. <gasps> A book! Dance and fire. Yep, we've read it. We'll take it for the free gold and apothecary satchel. Okay. Well, I guess it was worth, you know, checking out. Southward we go toward Fort's, Fort Sunstrad. Oh, I need to go east now. Sungrad. Uh, guard. Sungard. Grad. No. Okay. Ooh, some eggs. Got some eggs for me. Yes, we do. What? juniper trees right here. I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. Come on, bear. Let's go. Ain't a thing. Literally is nothing. It's just a cave bear. And no, I'm not going to bump up the difficulty. Uh, this game is on Adept and has been on Adept the entire time, which is the standard setting of difficulty for Skyrim, so we're not going to bump it up. I have said before, and I will continue to say until I start doing it, <laughs> uh, which will probably be in a fair bit, I will do a playthrough where I play this game on the hardest mode, which I believe is legendary. So... If you care about, you know, difficulty and stuff, look forward to that. Until then, this is what I got for you. He's a collector. Average, everyday Argonian who, you know, seeks immortality and to collect everything, you know, he can collect. It's his whole thing. Bit of a kleptomaniac, but, you know, not too horrible. I mean, not to the detriment of, you know, any of his friends. Well, well, there was that one, but, you know. Come on. He got, he got ebony mail out of it, you know? I think I think that friend who was at the time only wearing iron armor would have accepted that it would be okay to kill him for that reason. Oh, vampires. Okay, might be dead, so for the heavy armor. Fire just magic over store some health. Oh. oh my 
my gosh. I can't hit anything today, apparently. Uh, I did have... Oh, really? All right, vampire. Let's go. Oh, no, you're a vampire's thrall as well. Dodge McDodgson. Kill shot. Yes, you can take that arrow right through your chest and die. Okay, I guess no vampire. Okay, moldering ruins. I... Uh. I'll to, I'll, we'll have to take care of this eventually, but oh my god, for now, for now it's, you know, the respawning loot is too good to let up on. Oh, well, not the torch, but everything other than that. Okay, thank you, Glass Arrow, that impacted into nothing. 58 gold? Vampire don't give a crap about what his thralls are doing if he's giving them 58 freaking gold to haul around. No, we don't want any of that. Yeah, Deathhound Caller is one of the things that are added into the game that I'm like, really? Because, yeah, they're, they're a decent chunk of change, but other than that, they're kind of useless. It'd be cool if they were, like, made out of ebony, and you could, you know, smelt them down. Although, you can't smelt down anything in the game other than ores, which is, in my opinion, disappointing. I think I gotta go south? Southwest, southwest, okay. What? Not cast! Uh, not what I wanted whatsoever. This is a Forsworn camp. We'll check it out. Serpent's Bluff Redoubt discovered. Or read out. You know, you could stop attacking me. Yeah, Forsworn. They barely have anything of use. You're a one-shot, nice. Everybody? Everybody? Okay. Everybody dead. Uno, dos. There was one more. Okay. I swear there was a, another one, but... From the high ground, we should be able to see it. Right? One, two... Okay, that, nope, all right. Maybe they're just over this hill. They probably ain't got anything worthwhile on them anyway. So we'll just loot their camp and be on our way. Ale, or wine, great, nothing. Ooh, ingredients. And, oh, Jesus, where'd you come from? Briarheart just chilling, okay. What was that, just two hits? Nice. No, yes, yes. And yep, the heart does change once you rip out his heart. Don't ask how they get it in. I'm sure it's a very painful process that none of us would want to go through. Somebody else, Red Eagle. Red Eagle. What about the other book? Oh. Oh man! Y'all are fighting me with freaking Forsworn weapons and you got an Ebony Greatsword in here? I'm telling you, Forsworn are really smart. Almost as smart as someone who, you know, lockpicks a chest while under fire from a bow and arrow. But, you know, when you're a kleptomaniac. Dwarven. Nice, I guess. Uh, sure. Sure. Mm. 
Mm. I didn't want that Forsworn crap in my inventory. What was it? Feather for Forsworn armor. Oh, this is the this is the tent that's got it going on. Glass, dwarven, forsworn note. Matriarch grows weary of your hesitation. Our people control the entire eastern slope of the reach. All of Sun all save Sun Guard. Take it and the invaders will be cut off from the all retreat, but we must move now. All defenses are still weak. Yada yada summons the tribe summon the tribes. Do what you must, okay, so. Not in fighting, but you know. Reach, Reachman politics. Remedy. Oh, that's all good. Well, maybe not the steel armor now that I noticed that it's steel freaking armor. And they, they got a map, but they have nothing marked. Which, if, you know, if you're a guerrilla fighting force of, you know, soldiers, it's probably a good thing. Oh! This is all dungeon. I thought it was just a little camp up here on the hill. Oh, Serpent's Bluff Ruins. Yeah, okay. So, I guess we'll check that out at some point. But what is up here? Nothing. Kind of just goes up onto the rocks. Okay. Onward to Sunguard. Thank you all for dying for my experience. Are you... Oh, just a bear trap. What? Let's find you up, get your soul. It's just not even funny anymore. Now that, there's a giant. All by his lonesome. Rock? A named giant? I don't know if I should kill him now. Well, it's Xanthar, and he's named, so he might have inventory on him that is worth taking. Why am I... Okay. Rock. Probably a beloved character in this game. Oh man, Grok. Well, one flawless ruby. He's got nothing named on him, he's just called Grok. Well, hopefully he didn't have a missus back home. Would be rather depressing. Go over the hill. Grok's wife. Damn it! Damn it. I didn't mean it. I mean, I did. He had a flawless ruby on him, you know. You saw what he was wearing. He looked like a normal giant. No, nah, it's fine. Sure. Plot twist, you can always get NPCs back. Named NPCs, that is. But we don't do any, any such such that thing in, in this playthrough. This is purely a mod and console command free playthrough. Means we do it the old-fashioned way when we want to grind. We, you know, use alteration or illusion for five hours <laughs> around people. Is this y'all's approach? Because I'm going to go to the actual front, you know, where we're more likely to, you know, be able to get through. All right, let's see if I can pop this boy, this Antrarch, in there. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, there's an arrow to the knee. Going swimmingly so far. Let's help him with these barricades, though. Bada bing, bada boom. Nope. 
Oh yeah. Top floor he is. We'll loot some of these. Never want to turn down free arrows, you know. is packed full of storm cloaks if we're only at 82% right now. Well, we just went from 82 to 75, so. You had to move. Need a better spot. Oh, wow. Seven percent. You're supposed to keep moving. I probably need to switch arrows because I'm at 300. Uh, what do I got plenty of? I have so many elven arrows, that's not even funny. Steel? Ah, let's go to steel. What was that? That's a knee shot. Man, they don't even have their banners up. What kind of rebels are they? Well, that was disappointing. I don't know why. I cannot wait to get the crossbow. Just because of this crap. Hey, heavy armor up. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. 5%. Let's make that zero. There's zero. I love how some of the other Imperials are like, ah, oh, yeah, let's do it. Kill them in cold blood while they flee. I mean, my Antriarch did start it, so, you know, I just got caught up in the fear of her. Get what arrows back we can. Mostly steel, but hey, I'll take it. Okay. Who's still around? Someone over here? Be careful. Y'all y'all are the y'all are the ones blocking the doorway. Don't tell up to me about being careful. Alright. Get your steel arrows, and this will put us right out where we need to go, I believe. Yes. No need to loot the, the fortress at all. I think we're good. And I don't even know if it's repopulated. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay, we got a little bit of time left. Let's get... Oh, Swindler's Den. So, a book. And I have to find a source of power. I don't know if we'll find that source of power today, but we'll definitely try and get that book today. 
Yep. What? Head in the right direction, yes, when there's den. Not test! Don't worry, mud crabs, I do not give a crap about you. I still gotta fight that guardian troll, but I think he's over toward white run, so I'm not doing that today. Ah, there it is. What? Not cast! Well, we're here. Just because I know things need to be recharged. Petty, 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 petty. Get, get down there. All the way to petty. Stolen. It's not stolen. It's just, you know, permanently borrowed until I consume it. I'm sure I can return the drink to them. I want glass, right? Yes, glass. Oh, got one arrow back. Right, Antriarch, uh, don't blow my cover. Don't think it's gonna go as well as I think, but I don't know. He's he's stealthed pretty well before. Always forget what one point and sneak can do for your stealth. Okay, what we got? Thank you. What do you got? Oh, nope. Nope. One glass arrow. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we always take some white caps. What's up there? A chest. Yeah, we gotta get that. that and I can't see anyone up there so all right oh no just want your arrows hunting bow kind of useless especially to me Big old dummies. I love it. I love it. And this is only with what? One point and sneak? It's gonna get ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, if you have if you haven't known, yeah, only one point and sneak. You haven't known. Skyrim is a deeply broken game when it comes to mixing skills together. In a good way. I mean, you are the dragonborn. It just takes you a while to be completely overpowered like, you know, a dragonborn would be. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too funny. Time to end this little Okay, fine. Who's next? Oh, oh gosh.
Do it. Do it. What are you doing? Oh, my fellow Bargonian, I'm slightly sorry that I'm going to kill you in a second. Okay. Just magic, restore health, restore health. Let's get... Oh god, I have so much health. Fortify, why not? God, isn't this just a little murder rally? Not that I'm complaining, it's just, oh man. That it? That everybody? Let's hope so. What was that? Two. It was shoot, too many. So one, two, three, at least three, four. That was three, four, five, six. Okay. Just six, but oh man. Well, they all come at you at once. It's really hard to keep track of them. Now look at that. That's just perfect. Right through the sinuses. Well, I guess just upper lip, really. Ha, huh, funny. Don't know how you would die in bale of hay unless, you know, your friends, you know, put you in a bale of hay. Especially in this world where there is no, I mean, I guess there's magical means to bale hay. There's not magical, there's not like a machinery means to bale hay. Someone would have to be, you know, consciously putting you in that bale of hay. Or, you know, positioning your, you know, now dead bones in a pile in that hay. Oh. Nobody in here? Nobody in here. Nice. What do we got? Thief. Read it, but we'll take it. Come on, y'all. Books are books. Educate yourselves. With a book called Thief. Yeah, educate yourself. Yeah. Not advocating for thievery, just, you know, be educated on the subject when you need to. Use its knowledge for who knows what. Night falls on Sentinel, thank you very much. Anything up here? Imp stool, and that's all I want, okay. Damn, floor traps that I do not see. Oh, water. Oh, because, yeah, this is... Okay, yeah. I mean, I've done this quest, but... I thought I did this quest. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. 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 Okay. I mean, check the record, but I'm pretty sure I did this quest, so I don't know why these guys are chilling out here. It's not stealing, right? No, let's just take. Okay. Yes. Huh. Because I did turn her into these people. I guess this is, they they might just chill out here till the you know forever. This spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. And would not be surprised if that was Skyrim's solution for NPCs. Oh yeah, they're supposed to leave, you know, Skyrim and you know take their loot and uh, their hostage out of here. Nah, I'll just have him chill out in that cave forever. I don't know. I mean, there is a way to check. Oh, it'd be toward the bottom, wouldn't it? Oh god, so much. Yeah, in my time of need. Yeah, okay. So the Alakir just chill out here, I guess. Which again goes to show you that most bandits in uh, Skyrim, they're just in it for the money. It'd be cool if they were a faction you could ally with or, you know, be backstabbed by or if there were quests involving them. But no, they're just all bandits. They're all bad. Fight them. 
none of them can be reasoned with. Unless you're an NPC. Okay. Alright, we'll head this way, because where is it? Nope, straight north. Yeah, we gotta find the secret power in this place up here, which I'm not sure... Oh yeah, I know this place. I gotta go on the left then. Gotta go up some stairs. Yeah, this is where all these ghosty uh, warriors are who are like, I, you know, I'm not doing this of my own accord. Stop. Please. I don't want to do this. So we'll investigate the power hidden up there. Next episode, but we'll stop before we get there. Just want to get us in a good position. Oh, what? Hold on. Okay. Magic anomaly. All right. All right. All right. This, this is good. This is fine. This is fine. You know what? You know what? You know what these guys would like? Some shouting. Actually, I might just do that. Fire breath, only two. Frost breath is two. Eh, you know what? Let's get some heat off of ourselves. We'll just call Valor. Of course, I get the mage. Or the, you know. Let's see. I can't do anything with this anomaly. I just walks through it. Okay. Ready. And I mentioned I hate fighting these things. They're probably the worst thing to fight other than, you know... Ice Race, because Ice Race, they're a little harder to see. Okay, so we've started the Aftershocks. That'll be a whole Tolftier thing to deal with. I don't, I'm not sure if they added that in with DLC or if it was always there, but yeah. Yeah. Aftershocks. Yeah, well, like I said, that'll be next time. No. Yep. Whirlwind Sprint. Whirlwind Sprints. Okay. And those, I believe, can appear pretty much anywhere. Uh, Aftershocks, that is. Although they do usually appear, like, you know, out by themselves. Not much other stuff around them. Uh, really sucks that that appeared now, though. But, oh well. Something else, another quest to deal with, and we will take care of it eventually. All right, this is the you know bottom of this valley. Don't want to aggro anything up there. All right, oh nice some deer. Is my antrarch just chilling? Okay, he I get, okay whatever he can do him. All right, like I said, I'm gonna leave it right here. Thank you very much uh, for watching. If you made it this far, feel free to do the stuff if you want to. But nonetheless, I've been a formal bust. Until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves.